Hi, my name is Katie Weatherup and I'm a shamanic practitioner and one of the ways that I love to work with clients is in an ongoing basis. Uh, so providing support for a really good life that keeps getting better. So if for some reason your life isn't good, it isn't solid, it isn't working, I'd love to help fast track you to getting there. And then once you're there, once all the pieces are in place, it's on a life path, a destiny path, where with every year of your life that goes by, you're happier being you, you're happier in your life. And not everyone's life journey goes this way. You can think of examples of people probably who are sadder and it feels heavier and there's more struggle as time goes by and they feel less resourced. And um, it's a scary kind of thing to imagine as, as a future when we see examples of these people. But there are also people who are talking about being in their 80s and saying they're happier than they've ever been. This is amazing. They're so delighted with life. And what I can say of my own journey is it's absolutely true that with every year that's gone by, I'm happier being me. I'm happier in my life. I'm more resourced. I'm more uh, satisfied. This feels really good. And that's really what I want for everybody to have a destiny path where things keep getting better. And so one of the things that has been a constant commitment in my life, if you look at my discretionary money, it goes to travel, it goes to crystals, um, but first and foremost, the biggest discretionary line item of spending is um, on being in some sort of a facilitated inquiry process. So when I was in my 20s, this looked like uh, traditional therapy, which was so helpful, got so much out of it. But after a while, I didn't want it to go away, like I still found a lot of benefit from sitting with someone and looking at what was going on in my life, especially because I can uh, numb like nobody's business. I can be like, no, I'm totally fine, and I have such a capacity to distract myself from something that's low-level uncomfortable until it gets really big. And I'm a huge fan of catching things that are subtly out of alignment before they become significantly out of alignment. And if you have a proactive process of getting feedback and creating time with another person to sit down and see what's going on, there's a lot more opportunity to catch things at the subtle level. And um, so, for example, one of the things we say about illness is shamanic work, first and foremost, would love to catch illness before it manifests in the physical. And that's just one example. Um, but at some point in that talk therapy, I really stalled out. I wasn't seeing the forward progress. I wasn't getting the richness originally. And that was where I shifted my focus into people who were working not only at the cognitive, functional life skills level, but also really at the energetic, because that's such a huge part of who I am. And things that are out of whack on that level subtly can have big impacts because of my level of sensitivity. And it's hard to see ourselves. I'll be honest, I still absolutely every month go and meet with people who can help me with that because despite having almost 20 years of shamanic journey practice and taking counsel with the guides often, I journey on my own behalf frequently, I still can't see myself as well as someone else. So it keeps me present if there are things that I'm not looking at or I'm subtly off-center and it helps just, just realign. So it's one of the things that I care the most about. And so uh, if that resonates for you, if you're one of these people who um, proactively wants to keep getting better, things like how you talk to yourself and how much stress the same situation causes you, like continuing to be more resourceful and more capable and more in right alignment and more good in your own skin and more um, able to wrangle your fight or flight system so it's not hammering away in the background, like all of these nuanced upgrades are really supported by uh, proactively working on things rather than um, using shamanic work for crisis management. And it's great for that, like don't get me wrong, if you're having a really hard time, um, it can make a huge difference if you reach out and do some work with me. But there's also an opportunity to do work when things are fundamentally good. There's some amazing benefits. 
So if you're someone who um, is interested in being on that life path or already on that life path, you may have other forms of inquiry that you do. You may have a counselor or work that is really successful. But I'd invite you to consider adding in the shamanic element because I can look at the energetic. And one of the things that I find over and over again is our psychological cognitive models fail to take in the whole picture. So they're super useful for a lot of things and I'm not a throw them out because I certainly talk to people who want to explain everything in terms of past life trauma and I'm like, well yeah, it's past life trauma and some codependency issues and you know, both can be true. But there's a there's an element of where soul purpose factors in and where uh, past lives factor in and where energetic armor that you created in a, in, as a child or energetic strategies. And I'm really good at spotting those and working with those and understanding and helping people very gently and gracefully to upgrade. Um, I, you know, the, this work is profound, but I really like to work with a compassionate, gentle clarity uh, in the things that I'm doing. So if you're new to my work, the place to start is totally with a soul retrieval. That's the first work I always do with someone uh, to get their fundamental foundation really, really solid. That's super important. Um, and it'll give you a chance to have an experience with me. But if you're someone who really wants that, I want to be on a life path where the destiny path keeps being me being happier and more fulfilled in my life with, you know, every year that goes by, uh, this work could be really supportive for this. And it can add on to your existing practices where you work with people. Uh, the offer to become an active client is a commitment for three months to do at least one session a month. You can certainly do more, um, but the energetic work is, is deep and pervasive. And so what I find is, you know, seeing someone at most every couple of weeks after perhaps a brief intensive at the beginning to get some things sorted um, is a really good flow. So once or twice a month is a nice amount of shamanic work to keep checking in on how your energy is doing and how your heart's doing and whether all the parts of you are playing for the same team and to get into what's nuanced and subtle. Plus I have an enormous capacity to understand the system of how someone works and who they are. Um, it's one of the things that I most love to bring to the table is deeply, profoundly understanding people. And in doing this ongoing work, I, I develop such expertise in all the the quirks of you and all the needs and what's high value to you and uh, can help come up with really elegant solutions for how to move with complicated problems. Um, before I was a shamanic practitioner, I was an engineer and that whole, you know, creative problem solving thing is very much a part of the work that I, that I do today. So I want, to, I want to make an offer. I have a limited number of spaces because um, I just can't work with, you know, too many people at this level. Uh, but if it's something that resonates for you, I'd love for you to consider uh, stepping in. And you're not limited to the three months, but I think it's a nice amount of time to call this work in and then see the change that it makes in your life when you proactively commit to receiving um, healing and support from the guides and a journey rather than an individual experience. So thank you so much for listening. My name is Katie Weatherup, and you can learn more about me and my work at my website, which is handsoverheart.com.